Hey guys, we're here to chat about paint correction today and some of the misconceptions surrounding it. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about what paint correction is unable to fix. Rock chips are gonna be one of the most common defects we see here. And due to the fact that it removes the paint from the vehicle, this is gonna to require touch-up paint. A few more examples of defects that paint correction can't fix are crow's feet, solvent pop, clear coat failure, and even extreme cases of etching. So let's talk about what paint correction can fix. Topical defects such as swirl marks, marring, holograms, contamination, and even light etching, the list is pretty vast. Along with the defect removal, you're gonna get some cosmetic benefits as well, like less texture, more gloss, more depth of color, and more reflection. If you're shopping around for paint correction, you're probably getting a broad range of pricing. This is because there are two types of correction filler-based and true paint correction. So filler-based correction is going to improve the look of your vehicle temporarily by topically filling the defects. This usually only looks good for a handful of washes. True paint correction is actually removing the outermost layer of your clear coat due to the fact that it's leveling those defects permanently out. We recommend a ceramic coating after this process because of the loss of material, you wanna replace it. At HQD, we only offer true paint correction and we love doing free paint correction test spots. So give us a call today to get that scheduled and we will show you the difference that we can make on your vehicle.